Hello grade 12s and welcome to our second lesson. So today we're going to be focusing on simple interest and compound interest. So first of all we're going to start with simple interest and then after that we're going to do compound interest. So the scenario that I've been given on simple interest says that Sam invested 10,000 grants for two years at an interest rate of 7.5% per year. So first of all, the first thing that we have to do is to calculate what 7.5% of the amount that Sam invested. So what you're going to do is that you're going to say 10,000, 10,000, which is the amount that Sam invested, multiply by 7.5 over 100. 7.5 over 100 is just 7.5% right and then you're going to write your answer here you're going to hit that on your calculator 10 thousand multiplied by 7.5 over 100 that gives us 750 rands so this is the amount of interest that sam gets for his investment of 10,000 000 rands but this is only just for a single year so remember in the scenario we've been told that he has invested this amount for a period of two years so what you have to do is that you have to take the interest that he's going to earn and multiply it by two years right so it's 750 multiplied by two, 750 multiplied by two. and that gives us a total of 1500 so this is the amount of interest that Sam will get on his investment of two years, right? So what you have to do now is that you have to take the amount that he invested, which is 10,000 and add it together with the interest, which is 1,500. So you're going to say 10,000, which is the amount that he invested plus the interest that he's going to earn on his investment that will give you the, to the total amount which will be 11,500 so yeah this means that if Sam invests 10,000 rands for two years at an interest rate of 7.5% per year the final amount after two years when Sam takes his investment will be 11,500 rands. So this is how we calculate simple interest. We're now going to what? To compound interest. Yeah, so in compound interest, they tell us Sam invested 10,000 for two years and three months at an interest rate of 7.5% compounded yearly. The scenarios are more or less the same. The amount which was invested is equal um, but the period is not equal. Here it was invested for only two years, but here it's two years and three months. And the interest rate is also equal. And the diff other difference is that this is simple interest and this is compound interest. So here's how we calculate compound interest. First thing first, you're going to calculate the interest, the amount of interest he's going to get for the first year. You do it year by year by year since it's compounded yearly so you're going to say first year right so on first year you're going to take the ten thousand that he invested you're going to say ten thousand multiplied by seven point five over one hundred so here we're calculating what the amount of interest he's going to get on his first year of the investment so when we hit that on our calculator it gives us a total of 750 rands right so this is the amount of interest he's going to get for the first year of his investment right so you take this amount which is 750 and add it with the amount he invested which is 10,000 so you're going to say on your calculator 10,000 plus 750 which is the interest and then it is going to give us 10,750 rands so this is the amount 
that he's going to have at the end of the of the first year of his um, investment right so now we're going to calculate the second year you're going to say second year right so when you calculate the amount of interest he's going to get for the second year you no longer use 10,000 francs you use what the 10,750 the amount that he has after or at the end of the first year of investment because it is the money that he's going to enter the second year with right so you're going to say 10,750 minus by I mean multiply by 7.5 the interest rate does not change so it's 10,750 and 750 multiplied by 7.5 over 100 it gives us it gives us um 806,25 cents so this is the amount of interest he's going to get for the amount he invested during the second year right so we do the same thing we did on the previous year you're going to say the interest and add it with what? The amount of investment, which is 10,750. And when you hit that on your calculator, um, plus 10, 7, 15, it gives you a total of 11,556,25. So this is the amount that he's going to have at the end of the second year of investment so now that we've calculated the amount that he's going to earn for the two years we now have to calculate the amount for what for the remaining three months right so we have been given an interest rate for a whole year but we we want to calculate the interest rate for three months so here's how we're going to do it we're going to say 7.5 percent and divided by 12 months it will give us what the interest rate for only one month right so it's 7.5 divided by 12 months it gives us 0, 0.625 percent right so this is the amount of interest rate they charge for what for only just a single month and we want what the interest rate for three months so you're going to say this amount which is charged for only one month and multiply it by three by three months right so you're going to say 0 0.625 multiply by three months and then it's going to be 1.875 percent so this is the amount the total amount of interest rate they charge for the remaining three months that we have right so um i'm just going to try to write here so it's we calculate the, uh, the amount for the remaining three months now right so it's three months equals to so we take that amount we, we got the answer we got up for, for two years right which is eleven thousand five hundred and fifty six comma two five right we multiply it by our new interest rate which is one comma eight seven five percent right so you see we multiply by one comma eight seven five over one hundred right so it's eleven thousand five five six comma two five multiplied by one comma eight seven five over one hundred and then it gives us um two one six comma six six eight so this is the amount of interest that he's going to earn for three months that he's left with right so we do the same thing we take the amount of interest and add it together with the amount he invest she invested for the last three months which is eleven thousand five hundred and fifty six comma two five right you hit that on your calculator it's 216,68 plus 11,556,25 so that gives us a total amount of 
772,93 rands. So this is the amount that he's going to have if he invested an amount of 10,000 rands for a period of two years and three months. So that is how we calculate compound interest. And this is how we calculate simple interest. So if they were to ask you which one is the best option to invest your money, if they were going to ask you which is the best between simple and compound interest, you're going to look at the final answers. So here on simple interest, the final answer is 11,500. And here it's 11,772,93 cents, which is more than this one. So that means that compound interest is the best way to invest your money. So yeah, this is how we calculate simple interest and compound interest. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel and like the video as well. Please do not forget to study smart, not hard. <laughs>